Hey, and welcome to the Heartbreakers podcast with your hosts, Elsa Jean and James Mars. Hey guys, we are back with episode six. How you doing, Elsa? Wonderful. Awesome. Well, Just- honestly, I've had... <laughs> I've had those stomach issues. Tell us what really happened. No, no, I'm not going to tell you what really happened. But honestly, I haven't been sleeping well because of my stomach. But I am really good. How are you? You need those probiotics. How are you? How's your stomach? I'm good. My stomach is good. It's it's protruding a little bit. Like I don't want. Still need to lose weight. Um, What else has been going on? I went on a date the other night. Yes, I went on a date. So basically this guy in a building across the road that I used to live in, I have a friend there that I um, hang out with regularly. Our dogs are friends. Um, So she actually... Our dogs are friends. I love that. (laughs) She's not a friend. I I tolerate her. The dogs are friends, not us. I tolerate her, but I can take it or leave it. The dog's cool. So the dog and I are uh, Moo Moo are friends, my little dog. So she's, anyway, she's down in the laundry room and this guy comes up to her and says, who's that blonde guy you're always with? And you said, me, bitch. Uh, She said, he's cute, isn't he? (laughs) I wasn't there, (laughs) but I would have. Imagine if you were like posing to the side, like... (laughs) Me, me, bitch. Me. I just get her a hologram. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I realized who it was and I thought, oh, I actually thought he was straight. But anyway, I went and put my phone number straight on his door because like, you know, what can you lose? He already said I was cute. Yeah. Um, so we went out to dinner and, um, oh God, he actually said that he watches this podcast. Well, he watched it because he got my Instagram. So I felt like I didn't know whether I wanted to talk about it today or not. <laughs> I mean, uh, well, I'll it get is to, what it is. It is what it is because then, okay, so we go on this date. He's actually really lovely, spiritual, has his shit together. He's like a meditation healer and amongst other things, um, which That's is awesome. really nice. Lebanese guy. Um, Cute. And so, yeah, we had this really nice day and I took him out to Jaconi's. Uh, and then it was all great until, oh, I just feel really bad talking about this on here. Okay, whatever. Um, we kissed and it was just not there. Yeah. Yeah. No sparks flying. Well, yeah, I didn't realize how much it was going to affect me. I mean, cut to... (laughs) (laughs) A bad kiss, how much a bad kiss... Honestly, kissing is important and... Well, okay, there was no tongue. Does everyone use tongue or not? Because I just thought everyone used tongue. I bet I was actually... My third husband never really used tongue. And when he did use tongue, it was like a quick like... And I used to really hate it, but it wasn't like it didn't didn't affect me. He didn't really... if, If he did, it was like a quick like... Like real quickly put it in like but you know how like when you're kissing like passionately with someone and it's like honestly like my tongue never really leaves their tongue you know what i mean like it kind of just like you kind of it's like I a hate massage people, dance yeah. that's like, <laughs> yes. so you're not like poking poke poke it's not no. a button to press no it's a delicate dance and i actually do remember maybe many years ago i had kissed someone and been like wow this is different they don't like tongue which is like the whole thing for me and i'm a really like deep like i want to kiss but anyway, two mouths open, just going, oh, 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 touching each other is not like my idea of a great kiss. Um, but would you, what if you weren't into somebody? And I know it seemed like you were mm-hmm. into this guy, but what if just hypothetically you weren't really into someone, they go in to kiss you. Do you want them to stick their tongue in your mouth? But you're not into them. You weren't really like wanting to kiss. Imagine someone kissing you. If someone went it, in to kiss me and I didn't want to kiss them, I would pull away. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm not going to just <laughs> yeah. kiss them because well, they want to kiss like, Or else I would like, have to kiss you. everybody every day. You never, someone's <laughs> never kissed you and be like, oh man, I didn't really want to like. No, actually. Oh, maybe they've tried to, but like, I'm always pre- like, I'm with it enough to know that, like, wow, they're coming in for a kiss. I have, maybe I'm- it's just the industry that I'm in where I've had to <laughs> kiss a lot of people I didn't really want to oh, kiss. Oh, yeah. So I right. think about, like, oh my God. And I'm so weird about breath and everything. So oh, yeah. I got to really be into the person to really make out and, like, lay, like, really lay there and make out. Well, it's my favorite thing to do. And like, so when that's not on, like right away there, although I could have given like, okay. You could have given some feedback. Yes. Like, like, I mean, it's too early to, in the very first kiss to be like, yo, is. where's your tongue? Or like, I think you should just say. Relax the lips. Oh, uh, stiff, yeah, the lips are, so it was like this. He uh, was nervous. Uh, he was uh, nervous. Okay. But then also, can I just really tell you dry? now? So I walked away thinking, oh, maybe the chemistry's not there, but like, he's so nice that like, I'd give it a second try or whatever. So guess what? It's a day later and I haven't got a text. And I thought I was the one doing the like, oh, just be cool then. It What's comes the around. Rules? I don't think maybe he even wanted to. I mean, he definitely wanted to kiss because he came back in for another one. 
And I am a good kisser. I just know this because Are I'm you not, sure. Listen, I would, I would more. <laughs> it would more likely be that I was bad in bed than a bad kisser. Like that's what I'm like thinking because I just know that I'm a good kisser. Like you know, people could think that they're good in bed, maybe, and, and they're you like, you know, one hundred percent sure that you are a good kisser. I am. How do you know that? Well, You're just telling yourself that. Well, yeah, people. Oh, I mean, I guess people say good things. Shut <laughs> you up. No, I know because I know people that kiss bad. Oh yeah, wait. What if my perspective is all off and that's, that's not what a I'm good saying? Kid. I'm trying to gaslight you here. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> not only am I not worthy of a text back no, after a lovely that. dinner, um, literally paid, took him out, got my car cleaned. I'm like feeling my 35 year old self in my black Mercedes going to a fancy restaurant that was expensive, thinking I got this. And yeah. then also bad kiss. And I was like, oh, maybe I won't. You know, the other thing though is. My life is such a perfect little, wrapped up in a perfect little bow with my cute little dog. Even just it's having him in for a second, I was in. like, oh, wow, is Mumu okay with this? And she wasn't because she peed on the floor a little bit when he went to pat her and <laughs> yeah, she doesn't I usually do it. that. I was you like, give this dog too much like <laughs> I power. I, it's not you get a bit sick. Like, I know. You, like, you, yeah. you have this dog approve everything. And it's I just know. Not- and I do way too much. So the other day she has this itchy bum hole thing and I had to put ointment on. So usually you put gloves on or do something. Yeah. And it was Holly gave me the ointment. I was like, whatever, it's my daughter. So I started tapping her little sphincter with my finger and <laughs> <laughs> rubbing the cream on. And you know, it was the cutest part is she actually just rolled over and was like, whatever. Yeah. Cause she needs, she, she was girl. probably sick or whatever, you know, well, now she's got diarrhea. I don't know what's <laughs> going on with her. <laughs> this dog. I have a question though. Two guys, right? Who, how do you, okay. So if I go out with a guy, obviously, I mean, not obviously, but I, I guess I expect the guy to pay, right? That's just how it goes. So when there's two guys, how do you know who pays? How do you know who kind of picks? You know what I mean? What I'm trying to ask? Like, I guess maybe who's the more dominant well, one? Well, my thing was is that I asked him out for dinner. Okay. So that means I pay. He did offer to pay half, um, but in a gay way, I always think that you kind of know who, who is asked. Who is, who is in their masculine energy that night? Because they'll be the one making the moves. How or do doing you know? Ordering. Okay. Because so I just, just naturally... I presented myself that way. Okay. I was like, I'm taking you out. And then I organized, I said, I'll pick you up. Okay. Like, those are my moves that really work. I mean, then people see my, so those moves are what gets me in. Like, because people are like, whoa, number on the, phone number on the door. So then you need to be the one to text me up him. in the car, telling me which restaurant to go to. You need to be the one to text him then. You're because, right. Because that's, that was the point of my question is like, who kind of? Because oh, yeah. I expect the guy to text me, right? Right. Um. So <gasps> you girl. need to. You need to. He's the girl. You need to text him if you really want to go out with him again. That's all I'm saying. I'm is I think neither of us. Okay, of then us just one. leave it. You guys live next door. <laughs> I know. No, I have you to guys, see him. He every literally lives day. down the street. No, but he's really nice. Actually, I will tell you that. Like, he would make a really nice friend, and I don't even know him that well enough yet to like. You take never it off know. The table. But knowing that I'm already been taken off the table by him, I mean, if he was obsessed. That's the other unhealthy thing I do. I want someone to be obsessed with me, but Same. then I don't want it once they be obsessed. I love when people like are I need obsessed them. With like me. the fact that he's not obsessed. Maybe I'll like him a bit more actually now that he hasn't texted. I'll be like, oh, I don't mind that kissing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I like the that dry lips. Wasn't actually that bad. <laughs> now that I think, I like the it. stiff sticker. dry lips. It's like sandpaper. Yeah, exactly. I just want to <laughs> like make sure you don't use chapstick. That's what I'll text <laughs> you and be like, you better not be fucking ointmenting those lips or brushing your teeth. I'm just. I had, this, <laughs> I had this funny thing the other day. Someone was like, everything means your boy- boyfriend is cheating these days. Like, you know, so if he true. starts going to the gym, if he's like, and then the girl goes, dude, if my boyfriend so much as brushes his teeth these days, I'm like, who the fuck is she? <laughs> he can't even brush Isn't it. Isn't it so true though? A little bit. Cause Why I are you love, brushing your teeth? I hear some of my friends and they're like, he's probably cheating. He's, he, I'm like, where'd you get that from? Like, I don't understand. Cheating to me is cheating. Going yeah. and fucking someone else with evidence. And don't you, think you can kind of foretell. You could force you them to do it. it. No, but oh. also you're going to tell them they're a cheater so many times. Then it starts it to become happens. so ingrained in their mind, and you're being an annoying fishwife for stuff that hasn't even happened speaking yet. It into like, well, you know, yeah, speaking it into existence. That's I told you that happened to me with my third husband and the whole pregnancy thing. I don't know why since since forever even a te- oh you know what it was is i dated this guy as a teenager briefly for a couple of weeks and he didn't tell me he had someone pregnant or got her pregnant while we were very briefly dating mm-hmm. and i think maybe it kind of like put something in my brain where i'm like ever since then i've been like it's such a huge fear for me for 
being with someone and them getting somebody else pregnant, right? Yeah. And tell me why it, it happened. But that's like not a normal thing to obsess over. No. I speak it into existence. Yeah. Spoken into what is it? Well, Spoken no, because you can. Like you end up putting it out there and it happens. And also yeah. they respect the relationship less because they're like, you're treating me like I'm a cheater already. May as well cheat. You'll treat me exactly the same. I, I've been in a relationship before where I was like, you have no boundaries. It's up to yeah. you to respect this relationship. So if you go and you sleep with other people, that's your choice. I'm not telling you yes or no. Yeah. Tell me why that person came back. I was like, I don't want to sleep with anybody because you give me such like, like you just don't tell me what to do. And it makes me not want to cheat. And I'm like, yeah. that was the whole point of me telling you that if you really want to go be with other people, it's up to you. You can make that decision. Yeah. I'm not going to dig and I'm not going to find out, but I don't know if I'm going to stay. Yeah. I cannot promise you if I'm going to stay. That's such a power move. It is. Like and it. it worked. Yeah. It, it really worked. Well, there's nothing hotter than someone, um, uh, being actually upfront and honest. Yes, totally. Um, Oh, by the way, our new sponsor. We forgot to include our new you, sponsor. No, we didn't forget. Uh, I thought sponsors go at the end. No. Oh. Well, the beginning and <laughs> the end, but this is our first episode. So um, let me, and hold that thought because I want to get back into uh, that frame of mind with what was in the news this week about jealousy and whether okay. it's good for your relationship or not. Okay. Anyway, Adult Friend Finder has taken us on as the very first sponsor of Heartbreakers Podcast, we are obsessed. Woo! <laughs> yes. Adultfriendfinder.com. Um, they're an amazing dating app. The OG, the OG dating website, right? And you know what? What? They were founded in 1996. Oh, oh my God. And they're as old as you yes, are. Yes. I'm 26 years old. So isn't that crazy? That's a long time to have a dating app because I don't even think like other ones have been out that long. That's why they are so damn... 1996 is crazy. That was before 2000. This is why they're huge. They're available in most... I think there's one or two countries in the entire world they're not available Maybe in. Maybe like the super strict ones. Yeah, exactly. Because you can find a date. I mean, they are so cool. Like, and I know... Why don't you get on there? Like, real talk. Like, not I just trying to, to see it for... Because do you know what? Let's do it as an experiment for okay. next week's show. And I'm going to go on a date. We're going to do a segment, actually, for Friend Finder. Because they're going to stick around for a while. Can I pick oh, the let's person? make the profile together, okay? Okay. okay. But so Friend Finder actually is, so like, they are everybody. Like, polyamorous relationships, trans, gays. Um, you can basically pick whether you want to hook up. Like, so just a fling. Or if you want a relationship or you want to add someone in. They cater to everybody. They're an awesome place to, uh, well... We will find out, but they are awesome because they've been around this long and mm -hmm. they are the OG. Yep. yep. Anyway, so thank you, Friend Finder. The links are going to be in our show. Uh, so excited. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so basically you were saying... Um, we were talking about whether jealousy was healthy. You were going to tell me something about... Yes, so it's a perfect segue from what you were saying about that with your power move, telling okay. them, like, you know, do the cheating if you're going to... Do you think it's a power move? Because that's how I naturally am. Well, it's just because that, I don't that have the being patience. comfortable in yourself and then also knowing that you could find someone else because you're secure enough to be like, if you don't want me, that. I'll be able to find, I'll yeah. be okay. Yeah. So you just saying to them, if you're going to cheat, just cheat. Because like that subcontext is that I will be able to find my own thing yes. where someone's going to need to stay, they'll want to stay with me. That's, I want somebody that wants to yeah. be with me. I don't want to be with somebody. So I, yeah, yeah, I'm not into the trapping. I'm not into the manipulation. If you want to be with me, then be with me. If you don't, then that's fine. I could, I mean, you know, I yeah. could literally, I couldn't care less. I yeah. really couldn't care less. I'm so comfortable. So mm. that, I guess it is a power move in the so, end. It's a little bit like this, okay? So maybe, okay, so a little bit of jealousy is good in a relationship. So this is in the news. I've started doing a little segment for us here where I'll, like, look up trending relationship topics and experts from the week. And yeah. some of them are so nuts. Like like what you were saying before, there was this one where the woman's boyfriend had slept with her the sister and, oh. made, and made the sister pregnant. And then she was going to leave him, but then she realized she was also pregnant with the that, same I guy. I had a nightmare like that yeah, once. You would, oh I had a, such a bad nightmare like that. And I, I, this is years ago, but it scarred me so much. I don't know why, because it was my husband at the time got me and my sister pregnant. And I was just like, yeah. I, I remember I woke up out of my sleep like that was too crazy. And think about it. For the rest of your lives, you're going to have to be. It would be with, cousins yeah, and siblings. And always, like, like this was from my boyfriend and you took that from me and this moment from me. But then also you're my sister and you have a child. That's, that's the, the most twisted. It's, my it's my baby's sister or brother as well. So it's just like a head fuck all around. And for the rest of your life, good luck to you people. 
This is why that it was on the mirror in the relationship section of the craziest things that happened. I would not be well after that. No, that happened you would to not me. Be. I would not. I would not handle. Uh, but here's one thing, right? So a little. So is a little bit of jealousy good in a relationship? Um, a little bit of jealousy is healthy, is what they're trying to say. Um, I biological agree. anthropologist Helen Fisher said it's going to wake you up when you remind when you're reminded that your mate is attractive and that you're lucky it can stimulate you to be nicer. I agree. I actually like to make myself jealous. It's I almost in a in like a <laughs> I'm so happy you brought this up because yeah. it's almost like a fetish for me. Yeah. So, like I said, I will be like if you want to cheat, do whatever you want. I'm not going to dig. I'm not are. going to I'm not going to you know, that's different, right? Yeah. That whole thing is different. But I actually love to have threesomes. Okay. This make is so. Yourself. Make yourself. And I can't believe I'm admitting this because I've actually never admitted this to any of my partners that I've done this with. Oh, I dear. actually love when the person I'm with and that I'm in love with is fucking someone. And I'm like, this the whole time. Like, it get in, <laughs> in, in my heart, I'm like, oh, Because then you want to fuck him off to that and be like, oh, really? It makes me so upset. But I'm, like, so turned on by it. Oh, I'm you are so already turned, unwell. You don't need I'm this so person to do it. I'm so turned on by it. This is so unwell. I seriously am so turned on by it. And I, that's in, like, in person and, like, watching my significant other right. with somebody oh. intimately. And I'm sitting right there, like, you're a and they always or am whatever I it is. Is that what it is? Maybe. I think they're still but jealous. you know what like, always oh. happens is I've never had a threesome that the guy was like like where I sat to the side. Like the guy always fucks the girl for a little bit and then I um and then he's like, Can I just have you? And then it's just me and my significant See, that's what other. You and want, then, though. That's the real I, game. <laughs> you think that's it's what it that is? You want to be jealous a little bit first and then win. And then be like, they, oh, they always look at me the or whole be time. Like, now, okay, so you let them have a little bit, get jealous, and then be like, you want to lose this, and then yeah. they come back to you. Like that's it's got to be the whole story, yeah. Because I would find that attractive too. I want to get a bit oh, pissed off so I can make like it. a, mm, and then have them come back to me and be like, see, I get them at the end of the day. Yeah, oh, we're sick. We're sicker. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. I like that so much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's do it later. We'll find someone to do it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Don't hit your head. No, it cracked weird. I I hope that. Picked it up. You okay, so it. can I give you the other side to the argument okay. though? Is just um it's not a positive sign for a relationship if you so Lauren Papp, another um University of Wisconsin uh family studies professor, said it might be tempting to so it gives an argument for the other. Don't let them extensive uh, excessively be um, jealous because right. it might be tempting to think that someone is more interested in you or cares for you more when that happens because they express more jealousy or possessive behavior. But jealousy is, uh, jealousy is really a negative sign of insecurity in the relationship. So yes. I think there's a middle ground, I like was a little bit of jealousy. That. So. Is it really jealousy or is it just reality, right? If you're with somebody and the reality is anybody could leave anybody and go be with someone better or worse. So is it just a reality check? Like may, my my man or my female can leave me and like I should be a good person to them. Is that jealousy or is it, or I feel like jealousy is I'm territorial. Like even if you're you're not even around people, like a jealous person could be like, I need your location. I need that to me as yeah. a jealous person where it's unhealthy. Yeah. Um, where they're like, well, I think this, okay. So a while ago and I forget where I read it, but it was, there was this research done with like 50 couples and it said that it had been together for like 30 years. And so it was asking people that had been together for a really long time. When do you find your partner most attractive at this stage of the game? And they said, when I notice someone else finds them attractive yeah. in social settings, that's when I find them most attractive because it reminds me because I've been with them for so long. So long, yeah. Reminds me that they are attractive and that someone else right. wants them. And I think that's I think that's normal. I wouldn't even really call that jealousy, even though it is kind of. It's just a reality check. All right. The next thing that I have um, in the news is the what news. is in a name. This was in the Daily Mirror. Okay, so Sabrina Bendori says Ben is the new version of the J name. The internet trend warning women of men with names that begin with J, such as James, uh, Joe, and Jack. On Why? TikTok, the trend sees women reflect on their Ben stage when they dated men who didn't treat them well, with the name becoming a catch-all for a rubbish partner, like a crappy partner. 
Do you have any experiences with guys? I've not heard of this trend, but I guess it's like a I chad in America. I heard, I kind of, not heard, but like on Instagram and stuff, I see people, like, you know how Instagram puts TikToks up still? You know what I mean? Like yeah. those, I guess uh-huh. they're reels and whatever, yeah. but I see so many where they're like, don't date a girl if she has an A in her name or an E in her name. And yeah. I'm like, what name doesn't have an A or an E? Like that's, <laughs> that's so a common. Yeah. It's a vowel. Like you would almost have to have an A or an E. I know you can have other vowels. Come on, don't comment on it and say, you don't know what you're talking about but <laughs> those are the most um uh, i see those trends all the time where like if her name's ashley well that's the most common name possible i'm sorry james is the such a common thing- name how are you yeah. not supposed to i mean just die alone already <laughs> percentage wise obviously you have a bigger like chance of dating someone with that name so and you have a bigger chance of them being an asshole because the name is so common so i think right. that's weird that is so crazy i only have dates- heard of chad like so chad, chad- yeah. Being like, you know, a douchey guy, but like, I didn't know that people were in their Ben's. Chad for sure is a douchey name. Have you had any guys though where you've been like, oh my god, that's reoccurring in my life? Like, yes, but not with names. Um, because I've always dated guys with unusual names. Have you noticed that? Like, I never Mm. have dated a guy with like truly dated someone with like a, you know, um, no, because I don't know that many of your partner's names, but I do. They're not common names. Right. They, they haven't really been common names. I just know that, like, say, like, I, I always think that, like, Brock's are hot or, like, uh, I don't know. I would probably think a Chad is hot, too. Chad. <laughs> Chad. Yeah, I know. For Chad. sure, Chad is such, like, a... <laughs> douche. Uh, that's why I would like him. Yeah, yeah, you like douches, for sure. <laughs> I just want him to be mean to me. Oh, my God. I didn't know James was one. Literally, James never, is the nicest guy. I've never had an disgusting. experience with, like, a common name like that where I was, like, Ugh, because you're, you're like I don't know that's so weird to me be like yeah. I'm not being around him because his name is Joe I have been asked on dates and they reminded me whether the face shape or like their their verbiage or whatever is similar to an ex and I won't go or their job yeah. what I about did star dentist- signs what are you into like star oh, signs Zodiac- being bad Zodiac- like yeah Zodiac um, are you like no that's off limits then Honestly, I'm only against Aries and it's only because almost all of my exes are Aries and they are so emotional and they Aries are so emotional. They really are. And I'm not too into the star sign shit, but like I really think that Aries are unlivable to be around oh sorry watch out, aries oh, they really gonna, are so many comments no in a, in a relationship for because i'm a virgo yeah. so it really doesn't match well for me like someone overly emotional just i'm just like this because mm. i can be emotionless right oh i can imagine <laughs> uh. i can imagine all right so guess what i have this really interesting one i wanted your take on okay, okay. so i'm scared Dying wish in the Daily Mirror. This distraught husband said he turned to Reddit for advice um, after he was shocked his wife uh, would wish to see her ex-partner. She is dying, by the way. It's her final wish. Um, So he didn't really understand. She sat him down and told me that one of the last things she wanted to do was have sex with one of her previous partners. Uh, I, of course, was shocked and asked why the fuck she wants that. Um, So now I'm left with this to deny my wife a wish for my own ego or go let her fuck another man who she feels was better. Honestly, I'm so pissed off and betrayed. She asked this of me. I feel like I'm put in a position where I have to say yes because she's dying. Um, I know he concluded saying that he feels hurt and knows how he wants, doesn't know how he wants to reply, but doesn't know if he's right. I just hate everything about this. So basically she thinks that my her- brain is actually <laughs> like, I can't. She says that he's the most uh, physically compatible and it was just that. And that it's the best sex she's ever had up until that point. And she just wanted to experience it one more time. And it doesn't mean that she Can loves I be honest him. with you. Yeah. I would do the same if I was dying. And I, if I truly was like, had ultimate chemistry. And passion, I hate everything about I'm it. sorry, yeah. but if I'm dying, Nothing else really matters. If I had children, that would be the only thing matters. And um, if I'm truly dying, yeah, I'm gonna. That would be my wish too. I'm. I, I know. Get, I, I listening get. to that, I'm like, this is so sad for her husband and just everybody. But I would do the same if I truly was with had ultimate. Well, why is she not with that person? Well, because it's just sex. Like oh, she probably right. really she's probably an unlivable. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, but here's the thing. 
This guy's given years and years of his life and they are in love. Now, he doesn't know how she's feeling because until, I guess, until you know you're dying, you wouldn't ever know what she is going through right now. Um, and the fact that she told him rather than just doing it, I would have actually, actually, that's a good point. Just do it. Don't tell your poor husband that's having to watch you die and go through all of this with you and has been there for you and that you definitely love. She said that she loves him and it's just about sex. Why ask for his permission? You know, Let it go in peace. And you know what, sweet? He even was asking. He's even saying, "Should is my own ego? Should I deny her this? She's dying." You know what? It he what, sounds sweet. In the end, when somebody passes, it doesn't matter what they've said or what they've done or what has happened. All that goes out the window because that person, like the, the sadness that he's going to feel with his wife being gone. And for her to already, like, it sounds like she's slowly dying. Like, this yeah. is a very sad thing. And I think when she finally passes, it's not going to matter whether she had sex with an ex or not. It's just not. So if it makes her happy, I say she should be able to do it, even though it's like the whole dynamic of that is just insane. I don't think he sh she should have told him. Like, yes. why rub salt in the wound? Just go and do the thing. He's never going to find out. And what if I'm he sure found if I out? Him, I would never, I would want her to do it. I'd actually want her yeah. to do it. Not tell me. It's okay. You're about to die. He's going to have partners after her. Cause it's like true. there's a, a long life. It's true. It's so Depending true. I say, I say. She just rubs that. Like it was, it would have been a nice what thing. If he found Maybe it out. helped him get over her. Cause she just went and fucked some other guy. What if he found out though, after she passed? How more oh, upsetting would yeah. that be? I think you're the right. honesty thing for, for marriages is so Good important. Point. So. I think her telling the truth, even though I agree with what you're saying, right? Mm -hmm. I think telling the truth is probably the most important because especially he said he doesn't know if he's okay with it or not. He seems 50-50 yeah. on it. So they clearly are like best friends and lovers. Yeah. Just let her go do it. And then she'll, you know, just let her go do it. Let her go do it. And you will get to fuck other women after her. Yes, so many. And, sorry, and when she's gone, it's not going to matter. <laughs> well, on that positive a, note, that, that was so is... so intense for me. Oh, <laughs> so we didn't even get to the questions today because we've been having such a great time. And I am so living for it. We love this podcast <laughs> and we love you guys. Make sure to check out the show notes Yay. so you can see our... Oh, get on there. Date on Adult Friend Finder. And then let us know what questions you have. Let us know your experiences. We want to talk about them on the show. Yes. Let us know if you go on any dates. Or a hookup. Let or us know how that was. We <laughs> are going to be like cuckolding you. We yeah. want to know your experience. <laughs> we want all of that. So remember heartbreakers.com. You can submit your questions there or heartbreakers podcast at, uh, at heartbreakers podcast on Instagram. Um, and we are Heartbreakers Podcast on YouTube mm -hmm. and everywhere else you get it. Go and follow, everywhere. subscribe, <laughs> tell all your friends, and have a great day. Bye, guys. Bye.